Welcome to another Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Uh, I am Benjamin, and tonight I'm going to share with you a fascinating banknote of Lao. And I want to say right up front that I have no doubt I'm going to mispronounce some things, but I hope I have some um, subscribers that can correct me and can also help in some of the identifications that I'll present to you today. This note is actually a 500 kip note. Uh, it was introduced in 1968 and was withdrawn from circulation in 1979. It is predominantly a brown color. It measures 168 by 84 millimeter and uh, it is cataloged as standard catalog of world paper money PIC 24 and the bank notebook B307. The scant information I found in other places was courtesy of Wikipedia. And let's begin. We have a pretty basic banknote here. We have a front that shows uh, in this vignette here armed farmers harvesting rice in a paddy. And then, you know, in the back in the back section, we show um, water buffalo planting in other paddies. And then um, we see additional, we see like a factory here in the background here. It's a it's really a lovely vignette to be honest. I enjoy the detail and I enjoy the the rural farming scene. But it's when we get to the back of the note that it gets pretty wild and this is where some people can probably help me. This banknote depicts <coughs> excuse me, some horrific scenes of warfare. In the foreground we have soldiers with rifles and they're clearly they're clearly aiming up to shoot down some airplanes. As a matter of fact, here is a shot down plane right there. There is a plane that is in the process of crashing because it has been shot. And there's one or two other planes that are flying by. I can't tell if they're bombers or fighter jets. Um, I do know that, unfortunately, this is probably <laughs> American planes that were being shot down because this is somewhat in an overlapping time period that um, had us in Vietnam and then fighting some secret wars in other parts of Asia. So if anybody has any information on that, of course it would be appreciated. So in addition to the soldiers here in the foreground with rifles and anti-machine or anti-aircraft guns shooting fighter jets, we can see all these little uh, monolithic pieces of stone that look hollowed out. In fact, they're jars and this is actually called the Plains of Jars. This is uh, in a region of Lao called Xiang Kuang. And here in the bottom right hand corner we have a picture of the Wat Tat Wong Stupa in Vientiane. The plains of jars are thousands of stone jars found on the Xiang Kuang Plateau. They seem to be related to burials uh, from uh, the Iron Age. Most are made out of sandstone and they are similar to urns that are used prior to cremations and prior to a secondary burial. So that may have been their initial effect. Not necessarily a formal final burial, but a pre-burial roll. This plane was heavily bombed by the U.S. Air Force from 1964 to 1973, and it is said that more bombs were uh, dropped here than in all of World War II in all of Europe. That's just crazy in my thinking. The the stupa right here, the Tat Luang stupa, it was originally a Hindu temple and when it was built in the first century. It was rebuilt in the 13th century as a Khmer temple, <laughs> and then it was rebuilt again in 1566 as a Buddhist temple. It was restored by the French in 1900, and then again in the 1930s, and then again after World War II. So who knows what this building looks like now or what the original building ever looked like. It has been restored so many times. It is um, noted for all of the statues of Nagas or snakes that are found inside of this temple. So there we go. There's, there's not a lot of uh, things to say about this note. The vignette is what's most amazing to me. I don't know what kind of planes there are. There must be some enthusiasts that could tell me about them. Maybe even tell me what the rifles are. Maybe even tell me what uh, the anti-aircraft -air guns are. But for me, it's just horrific to see a scene of war on a banknote to the point that you're actually seeing um, planes getting shot down. And the funny thing about it is there are scenes on banknotes that have ships shooting cannons at each other. And you know they're just as devastating, but this is a little bit more recent, and so it's a little bit harder for me to um, wrap my head around. 
It's a beautiful note. It's very well engraved. I absolutely love it. Collectors of uh, farmers on notes, rice, patties, factories, water buffalo, soldiers, guns, planes, snakes would all welcome, welcome this bank note. So if you haven't thought about subscribing to my channel, Numismatic Notes with Benjamin, I would encourage you to visit, subscribe, and share that YouTube channel, Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I am Benjamin. Have a jewel of a day.